guys, welcome to Piper's Picks number 43. I'm Piper Reed. Thank you guys so much for all the happy birthday messages and videos you sent to me while I was in Florida. We read every single message that comes in and really appreciate it. I know some of you have been watching since episode one, but a lot of you that are new to the show have been doing Piper's Picks marathons. Holy Piperoni! Today we're up to 21 countries around the globe that are watching Piper's Picks TV. Oh my God, I forgot my earrings. That's better. So moving along. This episode's a blast from the past, baby. What? Uh, not that fossilistic. Anyway, I'm taking you back to when Victorious was just starting to film, before it was even on the Big People Press radar. It's totally Piperific. Yup, this episode's all about the beautiful Danielle Monet. It's Trina before Trina was Trina, or at least before she was on Victorious. Particularly perplexing? Maybe. We said we'd hold it up till the show launches. Might have overdone that a little bit, Team Piper. Anyway, Danielle showed up to meet us with her beautiful cousin, Janessa. Oh, one more thing. Thanks for the tip, Steve. While I was outside talking to Daniela, the cast of iCarly was inside and on set. Watch close. Someone from iCarly just might crash the party and throw me off my groove. But we don't need to go there. Check it out for yourself, yo. Without further ado, Daniela Monet. of the Nickelodeon Studios. It's so cool here and so pretty. Oh my gosh, Daniela Monet! Yeah, oh my gosh, Piper, it's so good to see you. Can you do an interview with us? I sure will, absolutely. Let's go have a seat. Hello, I'm Daniela Monet, and I am here with Piper, star of Piper's Picks, and I am so excited to be with her. She is so cool, and she has a few questions for me. So, I heard you were gonna be in Nickelodeon's new show. What's it about and who are you playing? Um, the new show is about um, a high school and this high school happens to be an arts high school. So you've got a lot of artsy, cool people and everyone's kind of dancing and singing all the time and you know, being crazy. And um, I play Trina who is crazy over the top and just clueless and fun and everybody loves her. And I'm also the sister of Victoria Justice's character, Tori. And um, she's kind of the um, underdog, I would say, but she's everybody loves her, you know? She's gonna actually uh, maybe go to my school and see what it's like to be at a Hollywood High art school. So you've worked on a couple of really cool things that we've seen. Can you tell us about Nancy Drew? Yeah, Nancy Drew was this really fun movie, and I played Inga, who was kind of the over-the-top little, like, um, very similar to Trina Vega, actually, but she was a little bit more bratty, I'd say. Did you get to meet Julia Roberts? No, at that time, she was actually a little busy birthing her twins, so. You were also in a few episodes of Zoe 101? I was, yes. I played Rebecca, who was uh, Chase's love interest slash girlfriend, and um, made it a little hard for Zoe to uh, go to school and be friends with all of her current friends. <laughs> so you were also on Sweet Love, Zach and Cody? I was, yep. I was, I played a cheerleader named Dana, who was um, kind of the hedgehog of the school. She... Oh, the head cheerleader? I think I was I the saw... head cheerleader. Oh, I just saw that episode recently. Yeah, it was on a couple nights ago, I heard. So you worked with George Costanza also? I did, yes. We did the show called Listen Up, and he played my dad, and I was, um, I don't know, kind of a know-it-all. <laughs> but it was a really funny show. How did you get into acting? Um, I was kind of one of those kids that was always wanting to perform for people. I loved dancing and singing and doing shows for the family and I guess I was just at the right place at the right time. My mom knew someone and wham bam, thank you ma'am, I was in the business. <laughs> That's how I feel. I love dancing and singing and Isn't performing. Yeah. Tons of fun. Who's your favorite on the show to work with? I love them all. A lot of them are actually straight off of Broadway. So everyone's really got the whole singing and dancing thing down, which 
I might have a problem keeping up, but we'll see. <laughs> Do you sing? Um, in the shower. What's your favorite junk food to get on set? I don't know if I'm huge on junk food, but I do love sweets, and um, I'm a nut popper. I pop a lot of nuts. I like almonds. I like all kinds of different nuts. But I got a sweet tooth, I'm not going to lie. So if there's something peeking around, I might just go for it. Well, um, do you like almonds? Yeah. This lip gloss has sweet almond oil in it. I'm, I'm pretty sure almonds is not a bad thing for your lips. Shea butter and 5% and sweet almond oil. I, uh, you might want to watch that. It sounds pretty good. Um, you want to try some on your finger? Let's try some on my finger. Oh, yeah. I bet you it's good for your hands, too. We'll see. Who has a better cast, iCarly or your new show? I am going to root for our show. Um, but iCarly is a pretty cool cast as well. But I think we've got some different energy. Since you think the cast are both great, you must have an idea of who boxes better, Miranda or Victoria. I'm going to root for the baby sis. I think she's got some guns under there. Just saying. At the Disney store, they have this big poofy dress that I think you'd really like. I from the movie called Enchanted. Really? Yeah, I love they have her dress dresses. when she's in real life. Oh, a big cool. puffy dress. You know that they have your size, probably. Hmm, I see where you're going with this. I might have to make a stop by. So there's gonna be a Halloween episode? Maybe. What's the coolest thing about working with Nickelodeon? They've got cool colors, and they're very fun, and their shows all rock, and um, I'm hoping one day I get to maybe uh, touch a little slime. <laughs> yeah, me too. It'd be cool, right? Yeah. I'm so curious how it feels and yeah I've seen people eat it so I'm assuming it's edible Ugh. I know what was it like when you found out you got the roll well first of all I got a call from Dan he called me on my cell phone and he said Daniela and I said yes and he goes this is Dan and then I said yes and he said just want to let you know um would you mind being in my show and I started screaming I went ballistic and I was so excited and I nearly dropped the phone. God only knows what happened after that. I just know that I had to get like a five-way call going on to like all my other family and friends to let them know that I was so excited. Oh my God. Um, See through the bushes. <gasps> Let's go. Oh my God. Hold on, wait a second. All right, since you asked nicely, <laughs> I'll hold on. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> Who are you? What's your name? I'm Piper Reese. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm Jerry. Hold on, Piper. No, no, no. That's fine. The, uh, the interview is ruined. I'm so sorry. I need you one minute. I'm going to get low here. I'm going <laughs> to take a knee like you're my coach. Thanks for being on camera. Thank you for pointing the camera at my weird looking face. Isn't it kind of late in the day to just be walking in? Well, yes. But here's the thing. We artists need at least 18 hours sleep a day. So that leaves six hours of work, of the work day. So really I only work a half hour a day because I need five and a half hours of sort of chill out time. I always thought that Miranda did the heavy lifting around iCarly. <laughs> what? Look, that's not even, there's nothing there. Don't look at them. Um, you're right. What can I say? I'm not going to lie. You can see my arms. There's, there's no muscles on them. Thank you for pointing that out. <laughs> uh, uh, Piper! <laughs> I'm okay. I'm okay. <laughs> I'll let you get back to your ostrich now. Thank you, Piper! It was nice meeting you. You too. Give me five. Up top. All right. I'll see you. <laughs> You told me that Castaway Carly's nice. I don't know about that guy. Yeah, me either. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Thank you so much for coming on the show. I had a lot of fun with you. Thank you, Piper. I had even more fun. I'm so excited. No, I did. Uh, no, I, I pretty much did. No, I did. We'll talk about this later, yeah? <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah, baby. Danielle is super pretty and super sweet. You'll be seeing her again soon on Piper's Fix and Piper's Quick Fix. Keep it with her eye out, matey. We've got another pre-Victorious interview episode on the way. For those of you who need to know, follow us on Twitter and find us on Facebook. The pic will be posted there. Oh, don't forget to thumbs up this video. See you real soon. 
Piper. Ow. Yo, I'm here with the... I'm not good with names. Particularly for Frexel? Maybe. There's a bad word in the script. That was cool. We've never done that. <laughs> Where's the bathroom? Right down there. Uh, not that physicalistic. That sounds wrong. No. Oh, 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 whatever. <laughs> I said it because I saw it on Batman and you said it's a bad word. No, it's not. <laughs> yup. Yup. I know, I know. Instead of that, you can like... Mm. I learned that from Steve Jaws. See you real soon. Isn't that what Mickey says?